Here is an angular momentum as a function of time graph for a rotating disk. Since the angular momentum is a vector, the signs tell us about the direction. Here we're using positive for the counterclockwise direction and the negative for the clockwise direction. Find the average net torque on the rotating disk for each of the following time intervals. For this problem, it can be very convenient for us to use the angular impulse equation. Angular impulse equals to the average torque times time. And if this is the net torque, then the angular impulse would also equal to the change in angular momentum. So for part A, 0 to 3 seconds, the average torque is what we're looking for. 0 to 3 seconds, that would be 3 seconds for delta T. And from 0 to 3 seconds, let's see, the delta L is the final minus the initial. And what is the final angular momentum? It's 5, and the initial is negative 10. So we get 15. And then divide by 3 on both sides, we get average torque is 15 divided by 3, 5. And everything is in standard unit, so this torque should also be in standard unit. And since torque is lever arm times force, it's a distance times a force. So it's a meter times newtons. And for a vector, the sign tells us about the direction. It's positive, so in this case, it is counterclockwise. And in part B, the net torque times time equals to the changing angular momentum we're looking for the net torque, the time from 3 to 6 seconds is 3 seconds, and the delta L is the final value, 10, minus the initial value, 5. So the net torque equals to 10 minus 5, 5 divided by 3, so it's 5 third, and it's meter newtons. Part C. For part C, there is no change in angular momentum. If delta L is 0 and the time is 3, that means the average torque would also be 0. So average torque times 3 seconds equals to 0. The there is no net torque acting on it. If the net torque acting on an object is 0, then the angular momentum stays a constant. Part D. The average torque times the time from 9 to 10 seconds, that's 1 second. The delta L is final 0 minus the initial 10. So it's 0 minus 10. So the average torque is negative 10 divided by 1, negative 10 meter newtons. And since it's negative, it must mean it's a clockwise direction. Oh, and that one is positive, so that one is counterclockwise. By the way, since the average net torque times time equals to the change in angular momentum, the average net torque would equal to delta L divided by delta T. If we're dividing, that means it's rise over run. So the net torque is the slope of the L versus T graph, the angular momentum as a function of time graph. So for each of these three time intervals, the, the graph is straight in each of these sections. So we have constant slope the entire time, constant net torque. This part, constant net torque is zero. For this part, the constant net torque is negative. This is the only segment in this graph that has a changing slope. So between three and six seconds, the net torque is not a constant.